Hey guys, Jeff Beggins here. It is Thursday, September 28th, and I am standing in unit 500 of the residences, giving you the update here. So what's going on? I showed you two and three last time. They are pretty much done, right? Everything's on site. They're ready to go. Then three's following two, four's following three, and five's following four. So I'm just gonna kind of show you um, what's going on. Just remind you, I know most of you watching, a lot of you watching are buyers in here. Others should be buyers here. There's still a few units. But I'm sitting here looking at true Gulf of Mexico, all the way over the whole island, all the way up to Clearwater, Clearwater Beach, all the way around the entire peninsula of Pinellas County. I'm looking over this way, see the VA hospital, see over downtown St. Pete over here. It's just pretty awesome. So just wait till you see it. Then I'm gonna walk you guys upstairs. We're just gonna follow that one. So on the fifth floor here, we got some agents here checking them out with us today too. And we've got obviously the, last time we were doing this, we did not have the drywall up on five so now the drywall is up it is textured it is painted all the electrical outlets are in all the switches are in all the fire detectors smoke detectors all the can lights are in all the ac ducts ready just the the grates are not in there so showers or bathrooms are pretty much in this is one of the ones with the den you can see so this is a three bedroom three bath plus den and then this one's got that shower right in this room the laundry room's not all the cabinetry's not in yet that'll be the next thing coming into the fifth floor on there and um, but it's looking great so let's let me show you what's looking cool up on the rooftop over here so we're going to go up one more flight and bring you on up to my favorite place in the building which i'm pretty sure is going to be yours too and we got surprise for you up here It's not so bright and sunny out here today, so I still need a little sun glasses. Oh, there's the, it's gonna be an interesting skyline now. They decided to keep the Tampa Bay Rays here in St. Pete. So you can zoom in and see the skyline of downtown over there. And you can always see the Tropicana Dome. We'll see what that dome ends up looking like later. So, but I digress. Let me show you more about what's going on over here. So all the cabanas are up now, which is pretty awesome. The structures. So these are solid on the raised decks. Power's running out here. So we'll have a little lights out here, have a little power outlet. You can sit out here, laptop, do your work, and view, enjoy the different views. Now, these are available for purchase for the unit owners here. And they might, we might keep one for the um, community. But everything's up, it's looking cool. All the air conditioning units are in. As you can see all the way up and down here. The bathrooms are plumbed in. The decking has arrived to put the decking on this rooftop. So there's gonna be decking up here. Plus there's gonna be some beautiful artificial turf. And it's gonna have just a, such a cool contemporary feel and look on this building. So pretty, next time we come up here, you'll see some of the decking down and <coughs> decking's actually going up on these platforms here as well. So you have the Trex decking, very low maintenance. All the railings are up, glass railings. So when you're sitting down, you can still see out. This is by far my favorite part of the building because there's not another building anywhere, anywhere on the beaches that has a rooftop like this, that's usable, that's functional, that's for you, the owners to come take a look at this one. So that's kind of what we like to do is design something cool, different, that's not anywhere else. So you'll see those ideas in every one of the projects that we do. What can we build that's not been done before? What can we build that's cooler than the last one that we did? And what's gonna make people say, wow. And that's what you're gonna get here at the residences. So that is the update for now. And we're still looking for completion. It will be by the end of the year. And we'll be moving people in um, in January. Say probably January into early February, but probably in January time. But as we get a little closer, this is just September. As we get closer to that time frame, we'll tighten up a lot. So, but everyone's on schedule and just cranking it, guys. This building is looking fantastic. So that's what we're doing. There'll be a link down here where you can see the floor plans and everything left of the last ones that we have available. And the beachprojects.com is one of the websites that they're on. So you can always check those out. There's just a few remaining and um, a few lucky few are gonna be in here. So they just came back on, they just came to the market as we're getting to this final stage here and we'd be ready to move people in the beginning of the year in Q1. So that is the update from here. Real quick, last time, I th did we tease, did we talk about the Marriott yet? Taylor, I don't, I don't think we did. So we're gonna, <laughs> I just said the M word in public. So 
this is all just as a quick reminder. We're standing here in the middle of the Madeira Beach Town Center. Madeira Beach Town Center was a seven and a half acre parcel, which is huge by beach standards. And that's what it is. So it started out with the Cambria Resort, which is doing very well. And that's just hotels, There's nothing for sale in there. Next door to this one is the Harbor Condos, which I think you saw all of our updates from groundbreaking, from tearing down the old building to pilings to finish to moving in on that one. So that's 38 people, really happy living in there. Everything's great there. This building here is just 27 units in the residences. And then we have on the other side of the Cambria, right across the street from the beach, we have the Beachmaker Resort. And I'm gonna be doing a whole other one on that one coming up, but that's the 156 room Marriott Autograph Collection at 26,000 square foot of shops and bars and restaurants and bistros and just really cool sundry shops. We've got two pools, a lobby, bars. We've got, I think, six restaurants on site. And we've got not just the hotel rooms, but we have 10 penthouses up on the eighth floor. But look, we're on the top of the five-story building. That one's gonna be three stories above this one. And these views are spectacular. So wait till we get up even higher. It's just going to be unbelievable what you're going to be able to see all the way around here. So what that's what I'm excited about is just the transformation that's happened in this town just over the last few years. And this is just one of you guys know how many other projects we're doing. Also, there's so much going on. So this town is just totally transforming and it's going to be the truly the crown and jewel of all of the Gulf beaches, the 17 different beach communities. Madeira is going to be firmly placed in number one because it's nicer. It's newer. There's stuff to do. It's fresh restaurants and bars and cool scene you got the park right there you got the playgrounds you got the splash pads you got the dog parks you've got everything right here the library the beaches golf cart front it's, it really could check everything you could ever possibly want in a place to live or a second home or a vacation home so anyway enough of the pitch of the town you guys already know that most of you if you don't you should move here in madeira beach and that's what's going on here at the residences we'll come back in another couple weeks and show you some probably some decking and um a little bit more finishing along the way all right thanks for watching guys see you in the next update and check out our other projects coming up down here, scroll down a little bit. Bye.